Hey! Welcome back to my channel. So this is a bit of a different video than normally because I got influenced by a bunch of TikToks um, about jump journaling and I really want to try it. So in this video I'll be showing you the supplies that I got. Um, I didn't want too crazy, I just got the basics like uh, some colored paper, um, some washi tapes and some stickers just to get me started. So I've been collecting some like junk throughout the week. So basically just things that I used, uh, food packaging that I thought was cute. Um, we've got like a receipt from when we ordered sushi, just basic things like that. Um, and I'm hoping I can make a like fun little spread with them. So first up I got some glue which is of course pretty important when you want to journal because you need to stick things in your journal. So I just got some regular glue and like a glue tape roller. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on TikTok using these um, and they seem pretty handy to stick like just paper and stuff. So I got both. Then I got some double-sided tape, but it's like um, like foamy, so it's a bit thicker, so you can um, like create some depth in your journal. Then I got some washi tapes, which are so, so gorgeous. They are exactly my kind of vibe. Um, they're like these floral tapes and they're so gorgeous. You've got a lot of different sizes. We've got bigger ones and then like some smaller ones and then like a tiny one. The tiny one is so so cute. It's like a little strip of flowers and yeah I really really love that. And they actually come with a little sticker book. I didn't really realize that it would be like a full mini sticker book. I just thought that they would come with these floral um, kind of glittery stickers. Um, but it's a lot more than that and they're all really, really cute. Then I got some stickers. Um, so it's two sheets and they are so, so cute. They have kind of like a witchy, like crafty vibe, which I really love. Um, we've got like a sewing machine, some threads, some scissors and yeah, just a lot of like handmade kind of things and they look really, really cute. I really love these. Then I also got some of these Christmas stickers. I know it's definitely not Christmas yet, but I thought they were so cute. Um, so I just had to have them. Um, so they are kind of a bit like puffy or like tickle. Um, so they're not completely flat, which is pretty cute as well. And we've got a bunch of like, we've got a reindeer, some Christmas lights, a Christmas tree, gingerbread man, and yeah, they are just so adorable. Then I of course got some paper. I mean, you can't really journal without some cute paper. Um, I decided to get this block because it had a lot of cute prints. Um, it's just floral prints um, and I have a bunch of different ones in there. And then for some of them you've got like two pages of the same design. Um, but like one is with like a bit of gold on there and then the other one is without the gold. So they are a bit different. Um, I really really love this design. It is so gorgeous. This is basically why I got this vlog. <laughs> because they just it just looks so cute. Um, but I also have some like polka dots, uh, some sprinkles. So yeah, a lot of cute designs that I can use as a background. Then I got something at the thrift store yesterday, which I think is really cute. It's like a Christmas book from Paddington. Um, it's basically to make um, like Christmas cards, um, but like 3D. Um, but I just really love the images that it has uh, of Paddington and stuff. They are so adorable. It also has some backgrounds to make uh, cards with. But I basically just bought this for Paddington because I just thought they were so cute. Especially like this one where he's holding like a Christmas cake, a Christmas pudding. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so adorable. And I thought that would look really cute in my journal when it's like becoming Christmas. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically everything that I got. And then I have a few things that I still want to get for junk journaling or like kind of crafting in general. Then I really want to get some of these um, like wavy scissors. Um, I used to have these as a kid and I really, really love them. They were actually kind of hard to find like adult versions of because they in most stores only have them for like kids. Um, so they will be like kind of small scissors. But I think these are for adults, uh, just for adult crafting. Um, so yeah, they look really cute and I would love to have them. Then I also would really like to get some stamps. Um, but yeah, I saw some floral stamps here, which I really like, um, which will be really cute to use in a journal, I think. Yeah, then I, of course, would like to get some more stickers and washi tape and stuff. But for now, I think I'm just going to use the ones that I have. So I actually don't have my journal yet. I did order it, but it just hasn't arrived yet. So for today, I'll just be using my sketchbook uh, to make a spread in. And if it's cute, I'll just take the pages out and stick them in my journal, I guess. And if it's not cute, then we'll just forget all about it. So yeah, let's just get started now on making a spread. So I'm starting this spread off with a bit of brown paper. Um, this is from the bag that uh, the sushi came in, which we ordered. And I thought it would be cute to kind of like stamp something on it or draw something on it. Um, and since I don't have any stamps yet, I decided to just draw on it. So I decided to draw some uh, sushi, of course. I uh, drew some maki rolls. Um, we ordered uh, ones with avocado in it and with cucumber. Um, since we don't eat fish, so that's what we ordered. So that is what I decided to draw. Then I also attempted to draw some nigiri, which is like just the rice with something on top. In our case, it's avocado. Um, you know, you kind of can tell what I was trying to draw, but it didn't turn out great. But yeah, it still looks kind of cute, I think. Um, I also drew one with a piece of tofu in it which turned out pretty cute as well. Then I decided to draw some letters, um, which did not go well. Um, I definitely should be like banned from drawing freehand letters because this looks awful. But yeah, that's kind of the point of a junk journal is that it doesn't matter how ugly it is or like how much you fail because it's just a junk journal and it's supposed to be there to just have fun and not to be perfect. So with our order we got this little piece of paper which had this really cute illustration on it of some like uh, pandas with sushi and I thought it was really cute so I decided to cut that out and stick it in my journal. Then I decided to cut out the restaurant name from the receipt um, and I decided to kind of make it a bit more fun and cut it out with like these round shapes <laughs> and that actually turned out pretty good um, kind of impressed with my cutting skills and then I cut out the words of the things that we ordered uh, from the receipt as well so I cut out the maki word and the nigiri I'm definitely pronouncing this wrong I'm sorry um, but anyways I cut those out and I stuck them under the uh, like marking wall that I drew and under the nigiri wall that I drew as well. Then onto the other spread, I um, decided to use this kind of pink polka dot background um, and I just tore that off to make it kind of have like a nice torn edge. So yeah, I stuck that on the page and then I grabbed um, 
like kind of the label of the yarn that I'm using at the moment. I just started crocheting a new sweater and this is the label from the yarn. Um, so I cut that out and I stuck that on there as well. Then I decided that I thought it was cute to use a bit of the yarn. Um, so I'll always know which yarn I actually used uh, and how it looked. So I cut a bit off and like with my glue I kind of made a little bit of a pattern and then tried to stuck the yarn on there so this was really really hard because glue went everywhere and the yarn just didn't want to do what i wanted it to do um but yeah it does look cute in the end so that's nice and i decided to um kind of let the yarn flow on the other page a bit as well um to just kind of tie the two pages together a bit then I wrote, I started a new sweater and the name of the sweater, um, I definitely need to like practice writing cute, I guess, <laughs> or just getting some cute pens or something because this is all I had and I don't really love the way it looks. Um, I then decided to draw a sweater next to it to make it kind of look better. But it just, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this bit. I'm, yeah, I just don't really like it. But that's okay. It's a junk journal. So yeah, then I kind of lightly panicked because I felt like I ruined the page. Um, so I decided to just take out the stickers and try and make something cute out of it. So I stuck this uh, scissors uh, sticker on there, which is so cute. And then I didn't have a sticker of like a yarn ball, um, so I just kind of used this thread on like a spool. And then I decided it was time to take out the washi tapes and kind of, I don't know, try and save this page. And I also used my favorite washi tape um, of the bunch, which is this little one with the tiny flowers. It is so cute. And I decided to stick that above uh, like the panda illustration. And then all that I was left to do was uh, add the date to the pages. So I used a bit of scrap paper that I collected throughout the week. Um, this is just the side of a cereal box, um, which I kind of like the look of. So I cut it out um, and I stuck that on the page. I did also add some extra washi tape because I was afraid that it wouldn't stick well because it's like in between the pages. So I'm not really sure if the sketchbook will even close at this point, um, but at least it's stuck on there well. <laughs> and then I used a bit of the same paper, but then the back, which is just white, um, to just cut out a little like label and stuck that on there with the date. And yeah, that's the finished spread. Um, I actually kind of like it, uh, especially more the right side of the spread. I like, um, except for like the sushi letters. Um, but most importantly, it was so fun to make. I had such a good time making this and just being creative without it having to be perfect. Um, and without having to be afraid to make mistakes. So yeah, I definitely want to do more junk journaling. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please let me know in the comments below if you like these type of journal videos so I know to do them more often. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!